So what's up guys? Goob the noob here. So as you know, I haven't been on my channel for about, what, two weeks now? I think it is. Right now I'm recording this in a parking lot in my hometown. So what happened was, is as most of you know, and some of you don't, that my wife of seven years cheated on me. And I lost my house. I lost my animals, my pets, my spiders. I've been living out of a car. And as you can see, I was smoking a cigarette. Uh, I haven't smoked in eight years. I gave up that habit years ago. But I didn't see it coming. I really didn't. And I feel like everybody should know why I haven't uploaded in a long time. I loved her. I loved her with all my heart. And I mean, we, we had problems. But a lot of people have problems in their marriage, you know. But it takes two of you to work it out. You can't just say, hey, I'm going to do this. And then they don't give anything to the relationship. And for a long time, these past two years, Jenny and I have been, excuse me, Jenny and I have been somewhat distant. I guess would be the lack of a better word for it. I trusted her with my whole heart. I did not see this coming. I literally did the westbound video and it wasn't two days later, I think. And we decided that it was time to get a divorce. Her so more than me. But the fact is she was going to let me walk away believing it was something I had done back down so there's more light when in reality it wasn't me at all it was another man in the picture and that hurts she told me I was too good of a man it was that same month when she started having gallbladder problems and I don't know if any of y'all know that, knew that I think they're closing so I'm probably going to have to leave here but she was having gallbladder problems and we went to the hospital at like three o'clock in the morning and I sat there in that waiting room with her fresh out of bed still sleepy and I put my arm around her and when they went to stick the needle in her arm she looked scared so I, I kind of winked at her let her know I was there for her let her know not to be afraid and all this time this was going on, there was another man on her mind. I've had, these past two weeks have been hell. I have done everything from getting completely wasted to smoking cigarettes. I wake up in the middle of the night wanting to have panic attacks and I reach over to put my arm around her and she's not there. I have trouble with the concept of it being I and not we anymore. I'm alone again. I just want to tell you guys to have faith. I know most of you are not even 18 yet. And I don't want you all to feel like marriage is going to disappoint you because a lot of the times it depends on the person. And when you meet that right person, you'll know. You'll know that it's the right one at the time. 
me and Jenny thought we were right for each other at the time too. But I was always faithful. And even now, she's still my Caroline. You know that outro song, Caroline, that plays with the train coming? Well, I always meant that towards my Jenny. I'll never marry again, and I'll likely never be with another woman. I love her. I love her far too much. And I'm probably going to die young. But God knows I, I loved one woman, and that was enough for me. So, yeah, I've done my best to preserve the channel. I will come back to it one day. I don't know when that is. I really don't. But. Whenever I do. Maybe I'll have my life together then. I got a job, so I got that going for me. I at least have money coming in. I won't have to live like this forever. She's happy with another man and I'm out here in the world, homeless and just, she said she loved me the day she walked out the door. But I don't think that she did. Because if she did, why am I living like this? Why did she do this to me? So yeah, in short, this will probably be one of the last videos I make for my channel. At least for the next six months. But I want you guys to all know that I appreciate everything you have done for me. Y'all have been some of the best fans that a man could ask for. And don't lose hope in life. If I can give you any advice, do not ever lose hope. There's hope out there somewhere. Even if it's only in you. Don't ever give up. I'm literally at rock bottom, and so I tell myself, well, at least there is no other way but up from here. And maybe I'll end up without a car. Maybe I'll lose my job. Maybe I'll be homeless. But you know, a lot of you don't know, I was homeless before I met Jenny. I didn't have my education way back then. And I spent three months eating out of dumpsters and sleeping on a hill by Walmart. And yeah, I'm an entertainer. I get it. I do. I've always been the class clown, you know. I always enjoyed making people smile. That was my forte in life. But in the end, none of it matters, you know. I'm a published author. I won't tell you my name. But I have books that I've published. I'm sure if you find my face online, you'll figure it out. I've done a lot. A lot of people would call it successful, but I do all this for free, you know. This video is getting far too long. I just need somebody to talk to, and I feel bad knowing that you guys don't know what's going on. To you, Goob the Noob has just stopped uploading. He could have took a break for all you knew. I tend to keep my personal life out of things. But I feel you guys need to know this. Also, this video is not going to be edited in any way, so it'll be raw footage. Face reveal, if you'd like to call it that. I don't call it that. But 
I just don't have time. Like right now, I got to go home to uh, stay at my relatives until I can find a place of my own. But nine times out of ten, I'm sleeping in the parking lot somewhere up in the, the city. I happen to be back down here tonight. But I got to go back to work tomorrow. And there's a lot of fine looking ladies out there. I ain't going to lie, boys. There's a lot of fine looking ladies. But none of them's going to be Jenny. That being said, I'm going to get off here. And I'll try to upload this video tonight. So. Remember, sup, am noob. <laughs> and uh, I wish you all the best in life. I heard that Westbound had an update, by the way. Not that I've been able to play it, but maybe eventually. Possibly. I don't know. I'm looking forward to it. I need to straighten up my ways and quit smoking again. I've did it a thousand times before. I can do it again. I just needed something to take the edge off of my life because it's been it's been really hard. I know this is what killed my mom, but honestly, in my personal opinion, you know, it feels like the whole world is on my shoulders. And it's hard looking at the woman that I love so dearly all these years. And see how happy she is without me. She said a lot of mean and hurtful things before we separated. Things that I've yet to recover from. I was so busy focused on YouTube that I didn't even see the signs that she was cheating on me. All I could see was how to entertain my fans. Well, I love you guys. Keep your chins up. Keep your head held high. And those of you that are getting bullied and those of you that are going through a lot in life, remember that no matter what it is, it won't be like this forever. So goob the noob out, boys. I'll see you in the next one.